Hello everybody, I'm Mermaid Liv and today is my last day, for now, as the Van Life Mermaid. Don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. That's right, it's a sad day, but I'm excited to move on to a new chapter in my life. I just got a job as a server and I'm ready to make all that big tip money. Being a professional mermaid, it, part of my job is to put on like a happy face and be bubbly and friendly, so I think I'll make a good server. Anyway, I will not be able to travel in the van anymore, and I haven't really been able to do that for a few months anyway. I, I went on a trip in July, and that was the last time I went on a trip, and it's now halfway through September. My, how time flies. And the original plan with this van was because I got it from my sister who switched cars with me. It was only going to be a temporary thing. I said probably let's switch back around fall, even though the weather is like perfect for a van trip. We have to switch back because one, the vehicle is not going to pass inspection. It's going to need a very expensive fix. Also, a couple lights just came on on the dashboard indicating that it's going to need another expensive fix and I can't afford another expensive fix. I've had to spend a couple thousand dollars on this van in fixes. It's very expensive. It, it goes through gas really quickly. It's not as fuel efficient. So today I'll be getting back my little silver Honda Civic. I've cleared out this van and put it back to its original state with both seats. But today I needed one last little adventure. So here I am in the woods, cooling off after an argument with my parents. Stable. So I'm definitely going to miss having this van, but because of my new job I'm going to start making good money soon and I think I'll be able to move out and get my own place and then I'll have my nice space, my, my own space to do lots of mermaid content and I'm really excited for that. Oh there's Harvey. Harvey! <laughs> You're so cute. Unfortunately, I did not get to go on many van life trips with Harvey. I took him on one trip. It was pretty fun. It's definitely harder with a dog, you know, van life. It's been fun being the van life mermaid. I do want to get another van one day and make more mermaidy, van lifey content because I do enjoy it very much. One day in the future, you know, right now, I'm going to be saving up money and working as a server but one day I would like to try getting a full-time job it's like a remote digital media marketer or something like that because that's what I've been pursuing for a while now I do social media from my mermaid account I was running social media for a different mermaid account for someone else's business and that now I work as a social media manager for a boutique, but not very many hours, so I'm looking for more social media clients. And one day, when I can do that, when I can be able to work from home, that's when I want to travel again. But right now, I gotta hunker down, bring in the sand dollars, and focus on accomplishing my goals. I completed my goal of being a, a van lifer did that. I became a professional mermaid. That was also a goal. Both are things that I'm kind of letting go of. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing van life for a while, but I've also been going through some things that have caused me to not quite enjoy being a professional mermaid the way I used to. But I'll always love being a mermaid. I, I've been having fun experimenting with more like gender neutral mermaid looks. And I'm gonna keep making content. It's been about a month since I posted something, at least as of while I'm filming this. But I'm gonna try to get back to it because I do enjoy it. And I was starting to grow a little bit as a YouTuber, so I don't know why I've taken a break. So, yeah. I've just been reflecting on all that has changed since I started traveling in a van. To run through a timeline, I got the van 2019, 2019, what year am I living in? I got the van the early, early in this year, in January 2022, and at that point I identified as a woman, I had long hair, I had never traveled alone before, I was scared, but I wanted to do it so badly, and I especially wanted to prove to my mom that I could do it, 
She was all scared about me going on my van trip, thinking like, you should be traveling with a man, you'd be safer that way. And she was scared that something bad was gonna happen to me. Everyone was a little worried. Some people were like, are you homeless? Some people were like, I don't get why you would wanna do that, but I was determined. And I'm so glad I did because it changed my life. I went on my first trip in April. That was when I finally had the whole van converted and of course now it's all taken apart. Oh, I just pushed a button. I can't lean on that. I wanted to do all kinds of mermaid and van life content and like beach trips and I feel like I didn't do enough, but when I think back about it, I did a good amount of trips with this van. I went on my own trip by myself with my dog to the beach and I slept in a parking lot somewhere and nothing bad happened and it was a very satisfying feeling. Of course, it was my first van life trip, so I wasn't quite used to it and I was very tired afterwards and unfortunately I couldn't make it a second night in the van. I decided to get a hotel. And then shortly after that, I found out that I was accepted to audition for Mer Taylor's The Mermaid Aquarium Encounter. And I did really good on that audition, I think. Um, I, I don't think I'm what they're looking for. I think they want like pretty mermaids with long hair and stuff. Shortly after getting my van, I soon had a gender identity awakening and I realized that I am not a cis woman. So I cut off all my hair. I had that iconic mermaid hair, very long, very full, curly, but it just didn't feel like me anymore. And the first time I wanted to cut my hair this short was when I was 17. Nay, when I was three, because I did cut my hair this short as a three-year-old. My parents weren't happy about it then, and they weren't happy about it now, but it's my life, and I'm happy about it. And this van has brought me great happiness. I've, I've spent so much time exploring my own identity, journaling my feelings, trying to figure myself out, trying to grow as a person, and I think I've done that. I've learned that I'm tougher than I think, I learned that I'm stronger, I learned that I can be independent, I can take care of myself, I can live on my own. I also learned that going on long drives isn't that hard and I can do it and I just, I feel like van life is something that everyone should do at least once or, or some kind of road trip because you really get to have a great experience it's not always pleasant sometimes it's difficult but you really grow from it and when I first became interested in van life before I even got my van I was working where the heck was I working I think I was working at a bakery and working for my friend's company, doing cleaning jobs. And then shortly before I got my van, I got a job doing social media for a clothing boutique, which was like my dream job. And things were really good for a while. And then I got my van. I got through a two week road trip doing my social media work, but then not too long after that, she wasn't able to pay me in full. So she kind of cut back on my duties. Now I only make videos, so significantly less money, but it's okay. After that, I spent a lot of money on my road trip, so I decided to start working at a job that I used to work at that I didn't particularly want to work at, a thrift store. Originally, I was working two days a week at the thrift store, one day a week at the bakery. Then I was working two days a week at the bakery, one day a week at the thrift store. But I can proudly announce I just got a new job as a server. And now I can quit all of those other jobs. Um, I actually might do one day a week at the bakery just to make a little extra money. I'm also still going to be doing some stuff for the fashion boutique. But overall, I think my life has significantly improved since I started van life. Harvey, any other things I need to update about? No? Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Or if you watch this video, then I assume you have at least some interest in my life, for which I am grateful. Love to know that there are some people out there who give a heck about little old me, some random mermaid in Pennsylvania. So, if you're one of my loyal subscribers, I thank you very kindly. Keep up with my channel, because I want to bring more content in the future. Bye-bye!